and welcome back to Christmas Race here on Game of Travis. I'm gonna go and just play it again because this is actually a hell of a lot of fun. So, you know, and it's not that I'm running out of ideas for games. So I got a couple of ones I'm going to do, you know, for Christmas Day and that, so. But this is actually so much, so much fun. I love it. Especially when I crash right into a Frosty, the snowman. And I also realized I have not hitting the grab your reward. I haven't done that in the last episode. But as you can see at the top of the screen where it says uh, round best, eight, and then total 114. If you hit grab your reward, this is what happens. I have earned 30 presents, which I'm not sure what they're for. I think this is for bragging rights. Anyways, I'd have six minutes before I could actually, no, I mean six hours, less than six hours, to claim another prize. So... I'm assuming this would also work on mobile phones, but um, yeah, here I'm just having just a little bit of some fun with this game because it's it's kind of cool. I mean, uh, a little frustrating at times, but hey, it's just a, a lot of fun. So yeah, just gone ahead and decided. Just I I really enjoyed the hell out of this game. <laughs> it's just crazy as hell. So. And sometimes this is one of those games where it's just not mind-numbingly fun. You know, you can't explain why it's fun to you. It just is. You know, sometimes maybe it's just it's just something about the game that you like. You just go back and play more of it. I mean, that's the way with a lot of video games. I would assume. I mean, I'm a gamer. I've been playing video games ever since I was uh, the age of two. And I think I've told that story before, like, the very first game I ever played, um, that I can recall, really, when I was about two years old, um, it was, actually, I'm trying to remember exactly, I'm trying to remember, like, the earliest memory of it, because the earliest memory I can recall, really, of playing, uh, a video game, I was, I think I was around two years old, I think. This was um, when, when the Atari was out, and I was um, I was taking a nap. Then I, uh, when I woke up, my folks took me into the living room, and there was an Atari that was hooked up. And I didn't want to I wanted to play it so bad. And my brother was playing uh, Keystone Capers, you know, which is a fun game. I love Keystone Capers. I can't recall if I ever played it on this channel, but I think I will sometime. Okay, ooh, hang on. Ooh, that was good maneuvering. Hey, check it out. Hey, I'm doing great now. But anyways, um... Aw, oh, shoot. Hey, 14. That is stellar. That's my new best. And... When I saw it, I was excited. I was like, I want to play. I want to play. And it got to the point... Damn. That I was... Getting, you know, I was starting to cry because like I wanted to play so bad and they wouldn't let me do it. So they finally handed me a controller and let me have at it. And basically, I felt like I was playing the game when I think it was just my brother playing the controls. He was at the he had a controller hand. He was playing the game and it making me feel like I was as well. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it was so cool. I mean, for a little for a little toddler like that to see a video game. You know, for the first time, got so excited. You know, I mean, I'm sure you'd have the same reaction too. So, but yeah, that's a nice little memory I have. <laughs> oh, these obstacles. Oh, they drive me nuts. All right. And here we go. All right. So, yeah, it's Christmas Eve, guys. Um,. You guys, um, if you guys are celebrating Christmas tomorrow, what do you guys have plans? Or if you're watching this after Christmas, what did you do? Did you have any, you know, did you get any cool presents? Did you get anything? Um, did you get what you asked for? Um, did you get laid? You know, just tell me what, to, just tell me in the comments down below. Don't tell me about if you got laid or not. I seriously don't care. Okay, that's your business. But, uh, tell me who came first. Um. But anyways, ah, oh, keep hitting the damn sides. 
I might play this for a few minutes. I actually got an early, uh, bought myself an early uh, Christmas present. Um, as you guys know, since I'm a huge gamer, I love all things gaming. One of the big things that came out from Nintendo this year, other than the Switch, was the SNES Classic. And it took me three months, all right? But finally, um, it was about almost midnight, uh, 12 midnight on the 20th, or going into Christmas Eve today. Um, the missus came home, you know, Heather came home, and uh, there's a couple of things I forgot to get um, while I was out shopping this morning. <laughs> Um, because we were going to have, uh, was, I forgot the name of sandwiches. We had club sandwiches for dinner, but I forgot to get tomatoes and lettuce and, um, things like that. So, and, uh, I was going to also, I kind of forgot to, uh, get things for a stocking for her, you know? Uh, so we went to Walmart <laughs> and I got to say the Clinton Walmart, although huge, um, <laughs> <laughs> they really don't get much stock for SNS classics until this evening. So we were shopping. She went her way. I went mine because she was going to get uh, uh, some 50-50. Um, oh, jeez. Antifreeze. Thank you. And I um, was like, okay. She wanted, wanted to be a surprise. Um, what I was going to get for a stocking. So went on my way and I was just going to the electronic section because I was going to see if I can find some stuff for her. You know, it's like maybe some movies or maybe a game or something. Because, yes, she's a gamer like me, although she mostly plays well, but she does play other games. At least that I know of. Um, <laughs> and, ooh, damn. Doing pretty good now. I'm doing a lot better than I did before. So, so I went to the electronic section. And uh, I thought, well, what are the chances? I don't think, you know, it's Christmas. I don't th if they had any, they probably all sold out. But it didn't hurt to check. I was already let down that the local Walmart didn't have any Super Mario cereal. Um, which I'm, I imagine that's pretty good. Um, but anyways, damn. <laughs> I only got two presents that time. So, lo and behold go over there and I just happen to look in the cab and I was just looking at games and things like that and then right next to where the switches were there were three SNS classics my heart literally oh not completely but figuratively jumped right out of my chest I couldn't believe it so there we go I, I saw it and I was like oh, oh my god I need to find somebody quick to open the damn case so I can get this stupid thing. And the uh, found somebody. He didn't look like he was actually a worker. He didn't look like it. He didn't have like a typical like uh, navy blue polo shirt and then brown khakis. Um, but he was behind the register. He was doing something. And I was like, I need to get a game. I was like, okay, okay. Um, let me go get the keys gets the keys and says, uh, what game would you like? And I said, the SNES Classic. Please. <laughs> and I said, you have no idea how long I have been how long I've been waiting for th this thing to get here so I can get one. Because when the, the system actually launched uh, the SNES Classic, and I'm sure that's a, a lot of cases for some people. There were lines in Walmart or other places, and most of the time it's just people who are just they know that the SNS Classic did really well, but they were in short demand. And people were buying the systems just to scalp them online. So I can imagine a good chunk of those people saying line, we're scalpers. This is when the system launched. And I'm pretty sure there's some people that actually still do that. But... Yeah. Oh, and Heather, who is back here. Um, say hi, Heather. Hi! She's back here playing her Vidjet game. Um... Last week, we were at Best Buy in uh, Davenport, and it was about 7 o'clock at night because we spent you know, a good portion of the day in the Quad Cities because Davenport, Iowa is part of the Quad Cities. Um, we went in there because we were going to... Um, there was, we were, oh, yeah. Well, I bought her a new computer. 
I bought her a new computer because the one that she has right now is pretty close to crapping out on her. Um, but she's still going to keep that. And I bought her uh, a gaming PC. So we went in there and bought... Um, we, we bought the computer, but it actually has to be sent to the store for me to pick it up. So I'm going to pick it up on Tuesday. And I was just like, well, let me see if they have any SNS classics. So I talked to one of the guys there and he said, yeah, we had 40 of them that came in. They all sold out. It's like, shit. Ah, well, that's okay. That's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll wait another time. And he says, yeah, we're supposed to get like another big stock of them in. Um, uh, that you know, Christmas week, you know, right after Christmas, we should have a whole st um, stack of them because they got like 40 of them in that one time. But, anyways, get to the end of the story after we bought some stuff for Christmas for the family. We went to the cash register right behind us, and another register was a guy who actually had an SNES classic that he just picked up. And I was like, I was told they were all sold out. So, I don't know if you got if you grabbed the last one. I just went by one person's word, and I went without, and ooh, I was just stewing. I was like, it's okay, it's all right, it's fine. I'll just I'll just continue waiting because I know Nintendo is gonna, they said they're gonna make more SNES classics than they did NES classics, so be patient. Because it almost got to the point where I thought, well, I might just have to buy it from a scalper because I really want this thing. So I'm glad I waited. And I cannot wait to play this thing. And it was so great. It's, it has two controllers. Which is what Nintendo should have done in the first place with the original NES Classic. Was packing in with another controller. So that way, because um, so, there's two player games on that. That way, you know, two people can enjoy at the same time. You know, that was a missed opportunity right there. Although if you were to buy an extra controller, it would have rounded out to $80. So I'm glad they used good sense this time. All right, one more round of this. I'll actually do pretty good. You know, while I was talking to you guys, um, I seem to do. Well, I was doing better. Man, wait, that's a, that's enough. I I've had enough of this. But yeah, this is a fun game. I mean, again, if you guys want a nice little Christmas game, it's on Steam. It's available for just one dollar. Yeah, play this. It's a lot of fun. I mean, let, let's look at it this way. It's like an isometric version of Flappy Bird. It takes place in the North Pole. It's a lot of fun, so go check this game out. Anyways, here we go. Uh, do me a favor, guys. If you see that red subscribe button down below, it's not supposed to be red. It's supposed to be gray. So please click on that and also hit the bell notification. That just lets you know when new videos available for your viewing pleasure. And also give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, all that stuff. You've been on YouTube long enough. You know what you're supposed to do, right? Right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a couple more Christmas uh uh, episodes, you know, guess it's gonna be Christmas Day, and you know, Merry Christmas. Well, I'll see you guys in time, all right? Bye.